Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create an email list for your website completely for free. This is great for you if you sell a product or a service on your website and you're looking to send your customers updates and discounts for your store. As a total beginner, I don't recommend building an email system onto your website from scratch. That's why I'll be showing you a platform today that does everything for you for completely free. And yeah, I'll walk you through everything step by step, so feel free to follow along. Okay, so the platform that I'm talking about today is called Beehive. And if you guys use the link down below, you guys are gonna get sent to a page like this. This is a newsletter platform built for growth, but you can also use it for any email. What Beehive is, is a newsletter platform commonly used by content creators, but you can use it for pretty much any other business out there. It's just email marketing made really easy. And just to go over their pricing plans a little bit, they have a free plan as well as two other plans called the Grow and Scale. So for most of you guys just starting out, trying to build an email list from scratch, I recommend getting just the free plan. You have the ability to go up to 2,500 subscribers. But if you need more than that, then it's gonna be $42 per month and on if you go with the grow or scale plan. But with these paid plans, you guys get access to custom domains as well as a bunch of other customization options. And what's really cool about the scale plan is that it actually allows you to A-B test your emails. So yeah, all of these plans you guys can get started with for 14 days for free. And they do have an enterprise plan, but you're gonna have to contact sales in order to learn more about that. And just to show you guys how the dashboard looks, here I am logged into our account. And you can see that on the dashboard, you have access to an overview of all these subscribers that you have. And you also have access to your audience, your engagement, as well as your monetization. And if you wanna start writing, then you could just click on this button right here. What I recommend is once you've created your account, go ahead and go to your settings right here. And then you're gonna to wanna to change all of the admin settings. So your company name. It's also a good idea to upload your brand logo as well as a thumbnail. You can even customize the reply to address. You can connect it to your web domain. You guys can import subscribers if you have some from a different list. You can also import already existing content as well as create subscribe forms. And this is super important for being able to put it on your website. If I go ahead and click view on one of ours, you guys are gonna see that it actually gives me code snippets for how it's gonna look. So if I go ahead and I paste this code snippet anywhere on my website, this is how it's gonna show up. They also have different versions. So this is the fixed width version. This is the slim embed. And yeah, if you guys want to edit, then go ahead and click on edit right here for your form. And now you guys can change the name, the header, the description. You guys can also change the button text as well as all the color. And you can also mess around with the typography and what happens after they submit. If you guys go to design lab right here, it's gonna take you to a page where you can customize the template of all of your emails that go out. And you can also click down here to change how it looks on the landing page, the upgrade page, as well as the homepage. So Beehive isn't just a newsletter platform. You can also create a landing page with it. And on that landing page, you can have all the different emails that have come out so far. So it's a great way for you to not only send out emails, but it's also great for creating a landing page which also acts as a blog website. Next, we have the website settings. So this is gonna be your color palette as well as the layout and themes. All this stuff is super customizable. So I highly recommend that you guys just go in here and change it to your own liking. But yeah, if you go to pages, this is where you guys can change the landing page the homepage as well as the upgrade page. And you can also just create internal and external pages on your publications website and then add them to the menu items as your navigation bar. Here's the navigation bar where I can add a bunch of different menu items. And then here's where I can manage all the comments on the website. If you guys wanna integrate it, they have the ability to create web hooks as well as API access. And you can also import and connect with MailChimp, which is another really popular email platform. Now to show you guys what it actually looks like when you guys start writing, I'll go ahead and click start writing right here. And so now you guys can see that you can create a title, a subtitle, you could select the author, the guest author, a bunch of different options down here as well. And if I go over to email, you guys can create the subject line, the preview text. And because we're on the scale plan, we actually have access to the A-B testing. You can also change the website settings. So you have the slug as well as the thumbnail. For SEO, you can change this around as well. And then for delivery, you guys can create segments in order to send out emails to specific people. But yeah, if I go ahead and I click out of that and I click right here, I could just start writing whatever. I also have this button right here, or I can just type in the slash button and that's gonna bring up a whole list of a bunch of stuff that I can do. So I can add images, I can add a button, I can also embed social media links, and then for premium, I can do all this stuff as well. It's very simple to use. All you have to do is just click it. So let's say, for example, I wanna add a horizontal rule. I'll click on that, and boom, now you guys see it's there. I can go ahead and click and drag this around wherever I want. And if I wanna bring up the sidebar, I can just click on this button right here. And then now I can go ahead and click preview in order to see what it's gonna look like. And it's gonna have all the different template options that I chose before that I showed you guys. And I can also see what it's gonna look like on the website as well as on mobile. From here, I could go ahead and send a test email just to make sure that everything is good. And then from there, I can either schedule it to go out or I could save the template for another time. They also have a bunch of different options. Like you can write different content tags as well as create automations. You have the grow tab where you have the referral 
referral program as well as magic links and boosts. You have monetization. So this is if you're gonna monetize off of your newsletter. And then you have audience where you can go ahead and see all the analytics when it comes to your subscribers. You have the general analytics right here. And they also have a learn section where you guys can learn all about the platform. And yeah, I recommend again, just go into the platform, sign up, you can get started for free. And yeah, just mess around with all the different settings that I've shown you guys. From there, you guys can create a separate landing page directly on Beehive, or you guys can go to where the code snippet was and just paste that on your website platform. Each website building platform has a different way of adding code to the website. So you can easily find that out on your own. But yeah, that's pretty much it for how to build an email list on your website. Again, we'll leave a link down below to Beehive for you guys to check them out. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials like this. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please make sure to subscribe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.